Shalom everyone, Shalom Israel partners and welcome, welcome to the city of London. We came here in Bali and I because two days ago we had a grandson that was born here in London. So we came to celebrate and of course to do the routine Jewish beautiful thing, the brith, the circumcision that's going to take place next uh, Sunday. So anyway, uh, we're here and we chose this very location right now to talk to you and give you our report for this week because we are in a special little garden that is part of a memorial for all those people in former Soviet Union that was killed and brutally murdered by the communist regimes. And we are in such a time like this that Ukraine, that definitely was part of the former Soviet Union, and after so many years gained its freedom and its uh, democracy, now has to face the outcomes of the crazy will of this butcher from Moscow, Putin, to bring them back under his communist wills, wings. Sorry, is just you know calling Russia a democracy, but we all know that it's a fraud, it's a tyranny, and it's still in the same style of the communist regime. Even though they are more close to the money and they're looking more about money and more capitalism, but the real deal is they are still a communist nation, and they try to bring Ukraine back under their wings, and he tries to topple this beautiful nation, the largest in Europe, that is trying to just get out of this communist influence and get closer and closer to the West. And during these very times that we're talking about right now, and therefore we chose this very location over here, the war takes place down there in Ukraine. Uh, we just got some very, very disturbing messages, very, very disturbing footages from a massacre, literally a massacre that takes place in several cities in Ukraine uh, where the Ukrainian army was able to push out the Russian military after they have conquered those areas and to see the horrors and the way they were killing people, putting them inside you know, common graves in the ground, uh, torturing people, shooting them in the heads. We have seen this happening, we have seen that, and we are literally in a place where even Israel that was trying to be uh, uh, a neutral a mediator, a neutral helper to negotiate between the parties, uh, the Israeli ministers and the Israeli uh, um, government is definitely uh, uh, devastated with the information and the footage that is coming out of there and I think that it won't take long before we will say that we don't want to take part of this uh, terrible farce where the Russians are kind of asking for some kind of a natural uh, and neutral uh, negotiations but on the other hand we learn about the horrors that they are performing in, in the Ukraine. Uh, and during this very time, what is happening in Israel is something that we were predicting for a long time. Today, actually, this morning, we are filming now on a Wednesday. This morning, we heard that the head of the coalition from Yamina party, from the party of uh, uh, Prime Minister Bennett, decided that she cannot take it anymore. She cannot stay as part of this bad government that is dependent on the haters of Israel, on the Muslim parties, and, and during this situation that we are facing a terrible, terrible terror wave in all of Israel, she decided that she's going to resign from the coalition. Now you speak about the head of the coalition. She is the coordinator between all the different parties of the government. And she said that for a long time now, she was definitely trying to see if there'll be any way for her to be able to see if there is any honesty in this government to try and find ways to fight the terror wave. And just like I've updated you a week ago and two weeks ago, this coalition cannot really function when they are leaning on a non-Zionist party who wouldn't allow the government to act against the haters of Israel, against the terrorists of Israel, only because they are Muslims and they are dependent on a Muslim party. And we heard today that she is in a very heroic act. She decided to resign and this would give an opportunity for Benjamin Netanyahu, the Likud party, and more of the right-wing parties, if this is going to continue, and maybe one or more, one or two more members of the coalition are going to retire from the coalition, maybe we will have a chance 
to form, finally to form a more Zionist government, a more balanced one that we can deal with the terror attacks all over Israel. So let's pray. Let's pray for the right wing members of this coalition of this government that was born in sin to wake up now in the face of the terror attacks all over Israel to realize and understand that we cannot surrender our security in the hands of parties that hate us and they will resign from this coalition and eventually we will be able to form a government, a right side, right wing government that can deal with all the terrible challenges that we are facing right now concerning our security in the borders, the security inside the towns and the cities of Israel. This is what we need to pray for now that the Torah portion of this week is about leprosy. The Torah portion of this week is about diseases. Let us get rid of that disease, this political disease that contaminates our government and puts us in the hands of people that holds us hostages in their hands and we cannot function and they are weakening the government from within. Let us deal with this disease, this political disease, just like leprosy. Let us push it away from our lives and let us purify the camp and get to a place where we can really govern and do things for the betterment of the Jewish people in the land. I love you a lot from London. Bye for now. Thank you.